Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. Listen very closely to Psalms chapters 100 and 101. Psalms chapters 100 and 101. Listen, listen closely to both chapters and and like, share, and subscribe too. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 101 I will sing of mercy and judgment. Unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person who so privily slandereth his neighbor. Him will I cut off. Him that hath a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Now, <clears throat> now, YouTube viewers, if, if you have ever had a habit of cussing, talking bad, or saying or doing things you shouldn't, or, or listening to bad music, and or watching any bad TV show or movie, if, if you have ever had a habit of, of being disrespectful to anybody, especially elders, if you have... If, listen to me, if, if, if you have ever had a habit of doing anything that the Bible calls sin, keep in mind, Proverbs 10 says to talk too much fosters sin, be sensible and turn off the flow, and also keep in mind, every Thing else I'm going to mention too. Matthew 6 says, Ask and ye shall, ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives. Every, every one who seeks finds. And the, the, door shall be opened to all who knock. Keep in mind also that Matthew 22 says to love 
thy neighbor as thyself, to love your neighbor as yourself, is one of the two greatest commandments. The only, the only one greater than it, is, is to is to keep the Lord first place in your life. Philippians four says, "I can do all things through." Christ who strengthens me. Isaiah, Isaiah 54 says, no, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lamentations 3 says, the Lord's mercies and compassions fail not. They are new every morning. First, first, John chapter one says, "If if we say that we, that we do not sin, or if we say that we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves, and we are calling God a liar, and 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 showing that His word." has no place in our hearts but if but if we confess our sins to him he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness john john 8 says satan is a liar and and the father of lies first first John 4 says, Perfect love casteth, casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not, is not made perfect in, in love. So listen, listen to me. If you have ever had a habit of cussing, or talking bad, or being mean, rude, or, and or disrespectful to anyone, but especially to your family, and especially to elders, that you know and don't know a lot. Read Matthew 6, Mark 11, Psalm chapters 100 and 101, and Proverbs 10. Read Psalms 100 and 101, Matthew 6, Mark 11, Proverbs 10, and, and Philippians 4. And and ask the ask the Lord to take away any desire you have to watch any sinful TV show or movie, and ask and also ask Him, also ask Him to take away any desire you have to hang out with sinful people, and or to listen to sinful music. Ask ask Him to take away any pleasure or desire or interest you have in hanging out with sinful people. Or watching or listening to any movie, TV show, or music that is sinful. Ask him, ask him for a, ask him for a desire to read your Bible on a daily basis, on a regular basis. Because Romans, Romans 10 says, faith, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by God's word. I repeat, Romans 10 says, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by God's word. So hear me. <clears throat> ask him, ask him, ask him on a daily basis, if not on a, if not on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a regular basis. Ask him on a regular basis. To take away any de any desire you have whatsoever to listen to or to watch anything sinful and or to hang out with sinful people. Ask him, ask him for a desire on a regular basis to read his word and to spend time with him. Ask him for a desire, ask him for a desire to read his, to read his word and to spend time with him.
because Matthew 6 says, Ask and ye shall, ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Romans 10 says, Faith, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by your Bible. So, but listen, I, I recommend before you ask him anything, worship him, worship him for 10 minutes. Then every day, ask him for a desire to read his word and to spend time with him. And ask him, ask him, ask him to, to take away any, ask him to permanently and completely and irrevocably take away any desire you have to watch or listen to anything sinful and or to hang out with sinful people who are not saved. Ask him to take away any, ask him... Ask him to help you not have fun hanging out with sinful people and ask him to help you not have fun watching sinful TV shows and movies and ask him to help you not have fun listening to music. Ask him, ask him to help you have more fun doing other things including but not limited to spending time with him and reading his word. But ask him for every other thing you have fun doing to be something that you will ask him to make every other thing that you will have fun doing something that will please him and ask him to also make it something that that you will love far more than anything sinful. Ask him to make whatever you love doing much more fun to you than any than anything sinful. Ask him to help you Find something else to do that that you will will love doing that is not sinful and that will not lead you to sin or temptation. Because listen, Matthew Matthew six says one of the things we should pray for on a regular basis is that we won't yield to temptation so listen whenever whenever you ask him for something fun to do ask him to make it something that you will love and that will please him and keep you away from sin and, and that will keep you away from sin and from sin and temptation listen if if this video has helped you please let me know in the comments below and like, share and subscribe too.